Burgundy, the colors are with yellow trim. As uh, Iona's got names in the back of the uniforms in uh, Burgundy with uh, Iona, I-O-N-A, and a block Burgundy across the chest. As the officials are ready to go, the Deeks will move right to left, the Gales left to right, balls up in the air, and Jackson tips it back to Lamont Momo Jones, preseason player of the year candidate in the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference. Crosses over the timeline left to right, and it's poked away by Jones. That's Madison Jones, as it's a turnover against the Gales right off the tip. I'm glad, I'm anxious to see the assignment on Momo Jones went right to Madison. Jones and he did a good job, caused the turnover. Jones crosses over the timeline, the Deeks Jones. As the Gales start off man to man, here's Miller McIntyre ahead of the key. Finds Makai, turnaround jumper at the foul line, it's too strong, board skied for by Armand, outlets near side to Momo Jones. Passes to the near wing, here's Jackson, hands it off to Ridley, couple dribbles, rises up, fires and hits, 18 feet away for Taj Ridley. Ridley had seven last night. Makai was wide open at the free throw line, just hit the back of the iron. Uh, you'd live with that shot all day. So one, two, one, one, three quarter court zone press. Kind of token pressure here for Iona. Deeks break it easily. Far side, Harris knifes the baseline, bounces left corner for Miller McIntyre. Passes head of the key for Jones with 18 to shoot. Between the legs a couple times with a dribble. Two, three, Iona zone. Dishes far side to Harris. So the Gales start big, but fa fade back into the zone. Five seconds to shoot now. Here's Harris, Thomas rather, spinning at the elbow. Forces one up. Hits the rim a couple times. Gets his own board. Second try's not there. Rebound down to the Gales in the right post. Outlet far side to Armand. Head up in medium speed left to right. Finds Jones trailing high right wing. And it goes back to Armand to reset the offense. Here's Armand off of the Jackson screen. The foul line kicks it right side. Three is up and down for Bowman for the Gales. It's 5-0 Iona. And Coach Bazdella calls. Coach Bezdelic wanting to stop that. A couple defensive lapses. Wide open, Ridley and uh, Bowman. And the Gales jump out to a 5-0 lead. 18-21, it's just after the tip. And he wants to talk about the zone offense. I think that was a little bit of surprise. I don't think they expected Iona to come out in a 2-3 zone. And Iona probably electing not to want to have to chase Wake. And uh, that man-for-man -man offense will go to the zone. Jackson last night starts for the Gales. He only played 16 minutes. He's a junior from Florida. The Deeks come out with the starting five. Again, Madison Jones with the start over Tyler Cavanaugh for this speedy, smaller Iona team. And the inbound comes to Jones. It's this 1-2-1-1 one, one, one Iona pressure here. Deeks weaving their way through it with passing right to left. Here's Miller McIntyre, knights to the center paint, drops it off for Thomas, left post who walked with it. Two minutes in, a couple of Deeks turnovers, and Cavanaugh checks in for Thomas. A great penetration, great pass by McIntyre, and Thomas not ready to catch it and shuffle the feet with the travel. Jones brings it left to right for Iona. The Gales are up 5 nothing early. Armand deep three right wings, a swish about, boy, 25 feet away or so. Armand let it rip. Can't let him catch that one. McIntyre's got to close out better. Jones speeds into the paint left side, and he rises, and he's fouled by Jackson, that's Jackson's first, first foul of the game. It's eight nothing Iona. About two minutes after the tip here in the St. Thomas Virgin Islands Paradise Jam, game two for the Deeks. Jones heads to the free throw stripe, his first free throws as a Deacon. Played 23 minutes last night against the Huskies and switches the first home. What do you think about the start to this game, Digger? Not good. Sort of like the football start. Yeah, last check of that score was 28-0 to the Irish. Jones' second free throw rattles off. Was halfway down. Rebound comes down to Ridley for the Gales. Outlet to Momo Jones at half court. Feeds Jackson down low. Rises and finishes on the right side. It is 10-1. Iona leads. Miller McIntyre in the backcourt. Eludes some pressure and wings it far side for Jones. Left half court set for the Deeks trying to go for their first field goal. Nearly three minutes in. Cavanaugh in the corners doubled, kicks it out. Harris, deep three right side. Off the bracket, offensive board. Mackay in the paint, puts it up. Doesn't hit it, an offensive foul against Mackay. CJ settled for the deep three there a little bit early. 
One thing concerned is Iona is really pushing the ball up the floor and Wake's not getting back. That last time, Jackson got the layup just on a, a pass ahead. Three minutes in, 10 to one, Iona. Bowman for the Gales, guarded by Harris, brings the ball to the left elbow, hands it off to Ridley as the Gales run a little bit of a weak. Now Armand uses a Jackson screen, feeds left wing to Bowman, and the Deeks are coming back the other way on a steal. Miller McIntyre, pull up 15 footer left side, no good. Second drive from Jones, he scoops it home, and finally the Deeks get their first field goal nearly three minutes and 15 seconds in. Good steal by Jones, and almost another one. And over, over and back. back, yeah, against Momo Jones, a double by Mackay and Madison Jones at half court, and they forced him back over the line. There. Good job, good job. Put pressure out there on the perimeter. Momo doesn't want to handle it. Momo wants to shoot it. First sub in for Iona. 33, Dennis Curtis. Curtis Dennis. Comes in for the big man, Jackson. So Jones, in his first start for the Deeks, has the only points for Wake so far. Miller McIntyre straight away, left half court. Passes far side to Harris. Back to Miller McIntyre, who wings it left to Jones. Look for Chase Fisher to be coming in against his zone. Here's Harris now. He could bust it as well. Took a three earlier on the game. Right elbow, kicks it out to Mackay. Finds Kavanaugh ahead of the key. Triple try, halfway down and rattles out. Board down to the Gales. Far side and pushing, here's Jones. He slows it up at the left wing. And Tim Kloos puts his thumbs up in the air. He's the head coach for the Gales in his third year here at Iona. His first two seasons have both been postseason runs. CIT final the first year, the NCAA tournament last year. Far side, Armand thinks about a three. Drives in, kick out Jones, Trey's a swish in front of the Deeks bench. 13 to three, Iona. Momo Jones has his first points. 15-32 on the clock in the first half. I don't think they've missed a shot yet. Mackay at the foul line, bounces far side. Jones kick out Harris, three blocked by Iona. Here come the Gales left to right. Jones head up, knifes into the paint, rises up and he's fouled on the floor before he was gonna pass it back out. Madison Jones gets called for the bump and immediate timeout with the score at 13 to three. Iona leads Wake Forest right here on the Wake Forest IMG Sports Network, 15-19 on the clock. in my islands, the United States Virgin Islands. Visit St. Thomas for the 60th anniversary of VI Carnival, April 22nd to 28th. Call your travel agent to book today. Spectacular views of the Caribbean are just the beginning at Frenchman's Reef and Morningstar Marriott Beach Resort. Discover a place where turquoise waters meet clear blue skies, where fine dining and poolside bars delightfully coexist, where fun and relaxation are an art form. A Marriott dream vacation awaits you here on the island of St. Thomas, in the U.S. Virgin Islands. It's all here at Frenchman's Reef and Morningstar Marriott Beach Resort. 13-3, Iona with an early lead over the Deeks. 15-19, first half next to Dinger. I'm Matt Chaz and now Adam Witten back inside the Legacy Network studios. As Momo Jones inbounds it to Armand, high right wing. On the curl pass to Curtis Dennis. Feeds down little Ridley. He finishes with a right hand in the center of the paint. Ridley's got two buckets now. It's 15-3, Iona. Five minutes in. Dinger, what do the Deeks need to do on offense here to get going? Well, they're going to have to penetrate and kick and, and make a shot here against the zone. Iona feeling very 
Very comfortable. Wake now really going at it. There's a good drive by Makai, just didn't finish. He's in the center of the lane. Left-handed shot was missed, and he tapped it out of bounds on a rebound attempt, so it'll go the Gales' way. I'm not sure Iona played any zone last night against Quinnipiac, and tonight they're strictly in a 2-3 so far. Yeah, exactly, and um, maybe it's a study of tape or what they uh, felt Wake didn't do against uh, UConn last night, but so far they haven't missed a shot, and you got to try to hang close. You're down 12 already, but they're going to start missing. Armand is in front of Coach Bizdelic. He takes a deep three, and boy, he buries it. And Dinger, they can't miss. Armand hits his second triple of the game. It's 18-3, to three, Iona. Five and a half minutes in. Harris is stuck in the backcourt now. Ten-second violation has got to be in mind, and they call it. A ten-second violation. Miller McIntyre had it on the far side of the floor. It's 18-3, to three, Gales. Five and a half minutes in, and a turnover. Again, Iona went to the NCAA tournament last year, the play-in game. Had BYU beat, they were up 25 and wound up losing. Armand rising, fire and hit, 18 feet away on a curl. Head of the key, Armand has eight points, back-to-back -back buckets. Show their VIT cards. We'll receive $10 off each ticket to selected games in November and December. Harris Teeter, where Deacon fans shop for groceries. Dinger, what do you think Coach Bizdelic said in the huddle there to try to get the guys going? Well, you, you got to challenge them. You, you got to start playing. You got to be aggressive. Defense has to pick up. Fisher has it over the timeline. Try to bust this zone. 2 3 zone for the Gales. Miller McIntyre, far wing. Deeks trying to score at the left iron. Harris weaves his way to the center of the zone. Shot 15 footers, missed left. Board right down to Iona. Armand hands it off to Momo Jones. 40 points last night for Jones in overtime in the loss. Drives to the foul line, kicks it near side to Dennis, who slaps the basketball hard. Around the arc it goes. Far wing Ridley. Knife center paint, rise, and a travel against Taj Ridley. Maybe putting the deck, putting the ball in the deck is not his forte. 13-39, first half, 20-3, Iona. Wake's only basket was on the steal by uh, Madison Jones after a missed shot. So really have not made a basket in six and a half minutes here against uh, this Iona zone. Here come the Deeks right to left. Harris bounces to Mackay, dribbling now to the center of the paint. Dump down low, Cavanaugh lost the basketball, but he's fouled on the floor. I think it's going to be on Dennis. Curtis Dennis's first foul. 13-28 first half, 20-3 Iona. Miller McIntyre lobs to Mackay. The right elbow. Passes to Fisher left side, gets it to Miller McIntyre, three straight away. That's no good off right. Kavanaugh second try is not there. Third attempt is poked away by the Gales, and here comes Jones for Iona left to right. Passes left wing, Armand scoops and scores at the left block. Armand has four buckets here as Miller McIntyre carries it in transition and turns it over. Trying to race back over the timeline from right to left. It's 22 to three, Iona seven minutes in and Iona basketball. Things are going worse right now, Matt. Uh, Wake has no answer for Iona's transition game. They're just pushing it down the sideline and taking it right to the rim. Thomas comes in for Kavanaugh. Madison Jones is back in. Jones, Fisher, Mackay, Harris, and Thomas for Wake, the Deeks. Wake looks like the team that played till 1 in the morning last night. Yeah, Iona was here late in the gym in overtime. Lost 98-92. Jones into the corner, drives to the right post. He's double teamed. Shot floater is missed. And finally a Deeks rebound and a stop. Here's the left wing. Fisher now a three quick trigger. Off the rim. Mackay put back. No good. Off left side. Board down to the Gales and pushing left to right. Jones crosses over on Fisher to the foul line. Kicks it left side, three. That one's off left rim, and the board comes down to the Deeks as Bowman took that triple for Iona. Mackay pushes back left side. Offensive foul, no, yeah, they called for an offensive foul. Mackay was a little out of control in the right post, and he's got his second foul. He had foul trouble last night and limited minutes in the first half. Scored 16 points in 28 minutes in total, did Mackay, who has to take a seat.
Deeks, Arnaud, William, Adalamoto. First time this game for Wake. Wake just can't relax. Uh, all the shots have been decent shots, just unable to knock them down, and then unable to finish a couple offensive rebounds where they didn't use their strength, they rushed it. 22 to three, Iona. 7.45 after the tip in this one. Armand controls for the Gales. Near half court, passes left side to Tavon Sledge, back to Armand, a deep three, sky high, and the bottom of the net for Armand, his third three of the first half. 13 points for Armand, 25 to three, Iona. Eight minutes in, left wing Harris wants to answer, pump fake, Armand bites, couple dribbles, shot up, is missed, but he's fouled by Armand, and Harris takes free throws. The first foul on Armand, and with 11.44 until halftime, it's 25 to three. I got you. Yeah, sorry. Twenty-five to three, the first half score. Iona leads Wake Forest twenty-five to three, with eleven forty-four until halftime. C.J. Harris at the free throw line misses the first and the second as Sledge gets the rebound, and here come the Gales left to right. Fisher, Madison Jones, Moto, Thomas, and Harris, the five for the Deeks. Sledge races down the right lane line, missed the shot, second try, put back is there for the leading offensive rebounder for the Gales, five foot seven. Devon Sledge, and he's got two points. Wake left half court, 27 to three, Iona. Jones in between the rings. Man-to-man -man D for, no, it's still a zone here for Iona. Or man-to-man, -man, Dinger, what do we have here? It's man-to-man -man D for the Gales. Moto down the left lane line, his pass is, it's an offensive foul against Moto. At the left post, it's 27 to three, Dinger. How do the Deeks climb back in this? Defensively, you got to stop them. Uh, they've been very, very comfortable. I mean, Armand uh, just nailing them outside with three threes already. I mean, Momo Jones, you, you put all your effort trying to stop him with 40 last night. He's only taken one shot. So the ancillary players on Iona is what's really hurting the Deeks. And then at the offense, there is no offense. Uh, just dry except for the steal by Madison Jones. That's the only basket in nine minutes. Armand controls for the Gales. It's 27 to three, Iona. He takes a deep three and swishes it in. Are you kidding me? This guy's got four threes in the first half. One of the nation's best shooters, you said, Dinger, coming into it, and he's showing it. That one was about 30 feet away. Jones lobs it up to Thomas. That's tipped away and nearly lost out of bounds, but Meller McIntyre saves it back to Thomas, who finishes second Deeks field goal, and now it's 30 to five. Sledge for the Gales, head of the key, lob into the paint. Thomas tips it right back to him like a volleyball, and Sledge controls it again for Iona. Over to Armand, near wing, down to Ridley, right side, jumper is down. A deep two for Ridley, he's got six. As Miller McIntyre, another offensive foul, trying to score quickly at the left rim. He put his shoulder down at the right post, and it's his first foul. It'll go back Iona's way, 10.05 until halftime. It's 32-5 Iona. Gomez is in for the first time for the Gales. Deshaun Gomez, 6'2", junior from California. Armand, head of the key. Is double teamed, lob down low to Ridley. Turn around, right-handed shot is an offensive foul against Iona. Madison Jones got there, held his position, and Ridley's called for his first foul. And down 27 here, obviously, you gotta start Cutting away, maybe try to, you know, first thing, first goal is to get it under 20. See what you can do before halftime, but they can't let the lead keep expanding like this. Aaron Roundtree's into the game for the first time. Coach told him to be ready in the team meeting today. And here he is into the game, and he misses the pass at the right post, stolen by Iona. Here comes Gomez for left to right, near wing, lob out far side to Armand, couple dribbles to the foul line, 15 footers blocked, taken down by Iona's Ridley at the left post, whips it high right to Gomez, who's open at the head of the key for three, and got it. It's 35 to five, Iona's up by 30. Nine minutes until halftime. 
Roundtree all the way to the rim, dumps it off right side, Thomas. No, it's an offensive foul against Roundtree. It's the now they're going to give it to Thomas. Offensive foul against Thomas? Yeah. Well, that's Thomas's first foul. It's the fourth or fifth offensive foul called against the Deeks. Iona wants to get up and down. They want to try to score 100 points. Led the nation in scoring last year. And now a 35 to five game in the Gales favor. Nine minutes until halftime. Sledge controls, guarded by Miller McIntyre. Blows by him, driving to the right, flips it up, and it rolls home for 5-7 to Von Sledge over Miller McIntyre. Lee well, just keeps going up, Matt. It's 32. Far side Harris in front of the Iona bench. Whips the ball through the Gomez defense. CJ's trying to get free. Passes straight away to Miller McIntyre. Pressure D here by Iona. McIntyre drives into the paint. An offensive foul against the Deeks. And that's the fifth or sixth offensive foul against Wake this first half. Uh, you know, the doubt is there against the zone. And a young team, they, they just don't have anybody leading them to tell them here's how we're going to get it done. Gale's back on offense. This is Dennis driving to the left lane. Shot is missed off the window. Offensive board comes down to Jackson. He's fouled by the Deeks as Kavanaugh was uh, trying to demonstrate how Jackson threw an elbow and, and now some words down in the post. Uh, again, the score is 37 to 5. The Gales have the advantage over Wake with. 7.56 until halftime and now immediate timeout. Today's in-game broadcast also brought to you by Southern... players inadvertently so I think Kavanaugh has two fouls the second being a T so Jackson is shooting here if this is the one and one they should shoot the technical first Jackson's all by himself at the free throw stripe the right free throw stripe Kavanaugh was that was the technical right that's the motive shoot the technical first because it was contact technical. that's wrong so now Jones will head to the free throw stripe as Dinger's Talking it over with Peter Yozanis. Peter Yozanis, Matt Oblas, and Dennis Aloko, the officials tonight. Jones hits the free throw. Jackson missed the, the uh, first free throw, the one and one. And so now Momo Jones is heading to the stripe for the technical, and he hits them both. So down low, Kavanaugh was trying to demonstrate that he got hit by an elbow, and in doing so, he threw an elbow to show the refs what happened and actually hit one of the Gales in the head. So they called a technical foul. Momo Jones is fouled at the elbow, and he'll take two free throws as he was in the act of shooting. 39 to five, Iona leads the Deeks with 7.50 until halftime. And Jones is headed to the striped dinger. Did you see who? Harris. We got Harris for that foul, thank you. Jones from the line, hits the free throw. Three straight free throws for Jones. Bowman, Sledge, Jones, Dennis, and Jackson, the five for Iona. Miller, McIntyre, Harris, Kavanaugh, Madison Jones, and Mackay are the Deeks on the floor. 7.47 and counting until halftime, 41-5. The Deeks have two field goals this first half. High left, Jones. He's got one of the shots made. 2-3 zone for Iona. Extends out to the three-point arc. High left, Mackay. Couple dribbles to the foul line. 
Now it's Miller McIntyre with a deep two. That hits the left rim. Kavanaugh offensive rebound, puts it up, and he's fouled and got it. Foul goes against Dennis. That's his second. Kavanaugh's got his first bucket. 41 to seven now, 7.26 until halftime. Dinger, if nothing else, Kavanaugh's been aggressive while he's been in. Yeah, he had a uh, good move there off the board and strong move to the bucket. And he got frustrated from the other end. He felt like he got fouled and in the uh, clutter as he was demonstrating about the elbow at, at the inadvertent. Hits makes a, it a three-point play. Yep, he's got the free throw. So now uh, Armand comes back in. He's got 16 first-half points, four threes. Sledge, head of the key for the Gales. Hands it off to Bowman. A weave run at the head of the key now. Momo Jones spins into the paint, rises, fires, missed it right rim, board left side, tipped out by the Gales. Wake basketball from right to left with 7-10 until halftime. 41-8, to eight, the Gales have the lead. This is a three-quarter court zone press for Iona. Harris takes the pass over the midway stripe, kicks it out right side. Kavanaugh, three, missed it short. Board taken down by Iona's Bowman. Outlet half court, Jones lobbed down to Sledge, rises high from the left side. And the 5-7 Sledge finishes for his third bucket. Dinger, he's got one of the great leaping abilities you'll see as a 5-7 guy. Had a dunk last night on a putback. Ball's tipped out of bounds near side. It'll be Wake basketball. Well, the worst thing is uh, Wake allowed their sledge to get behind him. And Momo Jones with uh, probably his first assist of the tournament through the alley-oop. And you can't let the guy get behind you. You've got to stay with your man defensively. Far side Miller McIntyre for the Deeks. Passes straight away from Mackay. Left half court set for Wake. Now Harris between the rings. Two hands at far side to Mackay. Poked away by Bowman. Out of bounds. Last touched by the Gales. It was a Quick conversation between officials. Miller McIntyre will inbound it, <clears throat> excuse me, on the far sideline just above the corner. 16 to shoot, finds Madison Jones, angled right. Over to Harris on the curl, he's open for three, missed the shot, a line driver is boarded long by Jackson for Iona, and here come the Gales left to right. Foul by Jones, uh, Jackson rather, an offensive foul on an illegal screen at the head of the key. 43 to eight, Iona has the lead over Wake with 6-12 until halftime. Dinger, how about this zone here for Iona, this three-quarter court zone press? Man, you gotta try to attack it and get the ball in the middle and go right to the basket. And there's a final good move by Madison Jones and a block finally called. Count the bucket, Jones just like you said on cue. Goes to the rim hard and gets the foul called. Ridley was the man who committed it for Iona. Jones to the stripe. He's leading the Deeks in scoring tonight and hits the free throw. He's got six points now. New career high for Madison. Had a duck, couple points in each of the first two games. But again, if you're going to do that little one, two, two, three quarter press, try to get the ball in the middle, then you should have numbers and you got to keep attacking. But Wake has been caused with a lot of charges, unable to finish until that one. Jones high right, it's Momo, guarded by the Deeks Jones. Gales have the basketball, Armand lets a three rip and it buries it. Boy, Sean Armand has five threes in the first half. 19 points. Miller McIntyre brings it back the other way right to left. 46 to 11, Iona leads. Miller McIntyre's pass to the head of the key is poked away by Momo Jones. Gale's on the break, lob right side. Bowman can't catch it, hits the bottom of the rim, collects himself on the miss, and now he finishes. Bowman's got five points in a 48-11 to score with five minutes until halftime. Right side, Madison Jones, 10-foot floater, hits the bracket, rebound and left post to Mackay. Tied up, and it's a jump ball called. A couple of Gales are down there with Mackay. 5-0-3.
are down there with Makai. 5.03 until halftime, 48 to 11, Iona. Gales are good, but Dinger, I don't know that this was expected. Well, when you come out of the, I think they hit their first eight shots before they missed, and Wake was cold as could be at the other end, and they just don't have uh, the verve today to take them on. Harris drives into the paint, rising floaters, missed, takes an elbow to the face, and that's an intentional foul against Iona. I think it's gonna be on Ridley. Well, He got CJ on it. Again, it was an inadvertent turn with the elbows. But uh, anything above the shoulders, they're going to call. So CJ, I think, will shoot two, and it'll be Wake's ball after that. Ridley's third foul. So Wake gets the ball after the two free throws. Yeah. So Harris takes the first free throw by himself at the line and hits it. It's Harris's first point tonight. Coach Tim Kluse is talking to official Peter Yozanis as uh, Harris hits the second, trying to plead his case that you know Ridley was was just trying to escape the D but the elbow was flared Deshaun Anderson comes into the game for the Gales to 6A junior from Los Angeles his first action of the year yep 455 until halftime Anderson Hadn't gotten in in the first two games for the Gales. Miller McIntyre for the Deeks, head of the key, passes near side to Mackay, whips it down low, rather Harris finds Mackay down low, just flips it up and in with the right hand. It's Mackay's first bucket, 48 to 15. Gales have the lead, Momo Jones has his pocket picked by Madison Jones, back the other way, a dunk for Madison Jones and some momentum for the Deeks, and immediately Tim Kluse calls timeout, 48-17. Blown in the NCAA tournament, they were hammering BYU, and everyone had all but flipped the game off because it was a play in game. The 214 seeds, Iona blew the lead, the Cougars got the win. So, Iona's blown leads before at a record setting pace. They did it last year in the NCAA tournament. Deeks are trying to duplicate that effort here in the Virgin Islands. I mean, they got to have a couple spurts here defensively, they've got to stop them. 48 17, 426 until halftime. Jones passes straight away. Makai picks it off high left wing. Back the other way to the left side. Scoop and fouled at the left post. That's by Trey Bowman. The foul was committed by Iona. And Makai heads to the free throw stripe. With 4.19 until halftime, the Deeks have woken up. And we just hope it's not too late. Makai to the stripe. It is 9 of 12 this year. The junior puts it in. You know, you mentioned uh, watching the game yesterday, Dinger, uh, Iona versus Quinnipiac as Makai hits the second. When it comes down to it, if it does get a little tighter, Momo Jones will not pass the ball. No. 40 points, zero assists last night. So you, you really know what the Gales are going to do. Let's give it to him. 48-19. Deeks are trying to claw back in this thing with 4.03 until halftime. Here's Momo Jones straight away. Could be the... Metro Atlantic player of the year. Sledge turns it over on a travel far side. He caught the pass from Jones, tried to knife into the paint, and three straight turnovers for the Gales. And those faithful Deacon fans that are here, the St. Thomas Virgin. Back to the action, the Deeks cross over the timeline right to left on a run here, trying to get back in it. Man-to-man -man D for the Gales. Oh, they're in a zone. They're still in a zone, yeah, okay. 2-3 zone extends like a circle all the way around the arc. Jones knifes the baseline and he's bumped by Anderson. Two shots, both double bonus. It's so, a, what a 6-8-0 run here. 8-0 run. For the Deeks, 48-19. It was 35-5. Well, the biggest lead was 48 to 11. Mm. Jones free throw. Madison Jones makes it. Nine points for Jones. In the second. 
is no good. Makai offensive board. The putback missed the layup on the left side. We've seen that a lot today. Board comes down to the Gales. Armand foul off the ball against Kavanaugh's holding Anderson. That's Kavanaugh's third. With 3.26 until halftime, Coach Buzdelic goes to the bench, calls Thomas up. Armand has five threes for the Gales here in the first half. Anderson's at the free throw stripe and he hits it for Iona. It's his first point this season. It's 49 to 20. Gales with a first half lead over the Deeks here in the St. Thomas Virgin Islands. Anderson's second free throw is good. Full court press man to man now by Iona. Pass near half court to Miller McIntyre. Over the timeline, tosses to Makai, who lost the basketball at the left elbow. Out of bounds at the baseline to turnover, and it goes the Gales' way with 3.20 until halftime. I mean, it had numbers there, and Makai just turned and started to go to the rim, and the ball just went out of bounds. Miller McIntyre had 21 points last night in an impressive showing against the Huskies. He's scoreless right now. Gales have the basketball. Bowman crosses over on Makai, rises up, and an offensive foul against Bowman. Harris got underneath as Bowman now has two fouls, and the Deeks have taken a couple offensive fouls here in the first half. The 50 to 20 game, it's 3.03 until halftime. The Gales are up by 30. Sledge is back in for Iona. Iona lost to Quinnipiac last night, 98-92 in overtime. Harris, far sideline, left half court. Passes straight away to Miller McIntyre. Now back over to Harris, far wing. Couple dribbles to the foul line, rises up, tosses near sideline, tipped away by Makai, but he lost the basketball. Tough pass to handle near sideline and another wake turnover, Dinger. And he got up in the air and uh, CJ tried to make the pass while he was up in the air and that's not a good situation. You never want to go up in the air, leave your feet to pass. Dinger, how much does this look like the Arizona State game last year in the Orlando Very, tournament? very similar. This is the second game of the tournament last year. Uh, the Old Spice Classic in Orlando, Arizona State, the second game of the tournament, did what the Gales are doing here. A foul off the ball against uh, Anderson with an illegal screen. Yeah, Wake Gales. played a great game against Dayton, had a four-point lead with less than a minute to go and gave up two catch-and-shoot threes, and that was uh, the starting point of... The scouting report, uh, report, and then Arizona State played horribly, and then the next night they just dusted Wake. Down low, Miller McIntyre layup rolls off with it, hit every part of the rim. He shot it in traffic, and it just wouldn't go down. Now Armand trailing back the other way, lets a three fly, rims off from the right wing. Board down to Mackay. Outlet Miller McIntyre left wing. Down to Jones, feeds Mackay center. Paint got it in the foul. Good ball movement by the Deeks, pushing the ball down the side. And Good cut down the middle by Makai. It's Anderson with the foul, his third. Makai's got six points in a 50 to 22 game with a minute 53 until halftime. Quick turnaround from last night to tonight. You know, in any, any tournament as Makai's free throw goes in. Not that much time to prep for teams. Well, Iona had less turnaround, so. And they've got 50 points already. Timeout Iona. Good double team by Thomas and Jones to force Iona timeout. Arge, get control, take the little 10-footer or dish it off. And uh, defensively, they're, they're a step slow on everything. You can't allow the ball to come up the side of the floor. So you got to correct a lot of things here. Deshaun Gomez is back in for the Gales. Gets it in a sledge near the timeline. Gales are shooting at the right rim. 97 seconds until halftime. 50-23 to 23, Iona. Here's Gomez still about 35 feet away. 
Now triggers the offense left to Sledge. Back to Gomez, head of the key. Working on Miller McIntyre. Drive center paint. Kick out right wing. Three is down for Momo Jones. His second three of the first half. He's got 10 first half points. Averaging 30 a game is Jones. As Makai loses the basketball, head of the key. He was poked away by Sledge. And here come the Gales left to right. 30 point advantage for Iona. Gomez is out near the corner of the timeline and the sideline. It's like a, it's almost a four corners type offense here for Iona. Now Jones, head of the key, passes right wing to Armand, who's fouled on the drive by Makai. It's Makai's third. Kind of rode his back into the painted area, which is an appropriate aquamarine blue here in this University of the Virgin Islands gym. And Armand head to the free throw stripe. That'll be Makai's third, and he'll go to the bench the last 53 seconds as Armand misses the free throw. Already got 19 here at half. Armand doesn't get to the line much. He's a shooter. He's not a slasher. Exactly right. It's his, uh, this is his third attempt of the season. He just missed his second. And he makes the free throw. 54 to 23. Miller McIntyre. Passes out of a trap to the head of the key. Thomas whips it back out to Moto, who lost the basketball. Well, what can go wrong is going wrong. Pass uh, in tennis, they call that an unforced error. Hit his fingertips and just went right out of bounds. 54-23. That was on the near sideline. Here come the Gales down the heart of the floor. It's Gomez. 36 seconds and counting. Hands it off to Sledge. Puts the brakes on top of the key. Flips it back out to Gomez near half court. Crossover dribble past Harris, dumped down low, left side, Anderson, 10-footers missed, second try to Anderson, an offensive foul against him. And he hasn't played much, but he has four fouls in limited time here the first half. And, and Thomas will go to the line for two shots. Let's we'll see if he can work on his free throw shooting. Special thanks today to Wake Forest Baptist Health Sports Medicine, the team doctors for the Demon Deacons. As halftime will come up from the Legacy Network studios, Adam Witten's got the update on everything going on around the country in one of the busiest weekends annually in college athletics. Adam's got that for you. Thomas to the free throw stripe for the Deeks. Misses the free throw. Dinger, Thomas has missed just about all of his free throws down here to the left. The lefty keeps shooting him to the left side of the iron. The second try for the freshman is too strong. The rebound comes down to the Deeks. A foul goes against Iona, or no, it was a violation. So Thomas will get a second crack at it. And he rattles this one home. Three points for Thomas tonight, 54 to 24 Iona with 25.1 until halftime. Armand inbounds it to Gomez. A, kind of a one, two, two zone press now from the Deeks is on. It's like what Iona was playing. Momo Jones is open from the right wing, defers back to Armand to try to take the final shot here this first half. Nine seconds, shot clock's off. Jones, high left wing. Four seconds left now, passes to Armand Curling, eyes the clock, rises up, three head of the key, off left rim. And with the halftime score at 54 to 24, Ding Two of three, the Deeks are down 54 to 24 to Iona. We start things back up. 
as Sledge for the Gales starts off the second half. Came off the bench in the first, moves from right to left, hands off Momo Jones, scooping layup right side is down. The Gales are off to where they started in the first half. Now pressing the Deeks, Madison Jones races to the left post, finds Thomas, misses a layup on the right side. Wide open, Thomas went too strong with it. Yeah, he had to use his left hand. That's something he's got to work on. He's on the right hand side of the basket. Perfect pass by Jones. And he missed one earlier that uh, McIntyre gave him in the first half. And then that one, same thing. Point blank, got to be able to finish that. If you, if you got to use your left hand, go up and dunk it. Thomas had a big dunk last night. Harris poked it out of bounds. Here's Iona with the basketball. Momo Jones takes a three about five feet beyond the arc and drains it from the top of the key. It's a 5-0 run for the Gales to start the second half. Madison Jones back the other way and a block called against Sean Jackson. Basically how this game has gone is the Gales have been scoring at a rapid rate. The Deeks are trying to race back down the floor this second half to the right half court. And it's been Madison Jones running the break. They call the foul on the floor. Jones got into the paint and he was hit by Jackson. I thought he was making his move to the shot. Normally they say when you go up like that, and he didn't make an attempt to pass it. He tried to throw it to the rim. He inbounds it here to Harris in the corner after they did wind up calling it on the floor. Gives to Miller McIntyre ahead of the key. Back to Harris right wing. Feeds down low to Thomas. Muscles in and finishes left side with the left hand. A strong move by Devin Thomas. His second field goal, it's 59-26. Sledge penetrates in the center of the paint, dumps it off Armand, left-handed, or left shot from the uh, left block goes down, and it's 61-26, Gales. Can't trade field goals here. And the lead has gone from 30 to 35. Left wing, Miller McIntyre. Dumped down low, Mackay straight up with it, blocking foul, he'll take two free throws as Taj Ridley got in his way. This is the fourth foul on Ridley. Mackay heads to the stripe. Seven first half points for Travis. Again, 61-26. Second half score. The Gales lead the Deeks 90 seconds after halftime. Kai hits the free throw. Anderson's back into the game for the Gales. Uh, lead so big, Dinger, that you know, you got to start climbing back, but you know, there is foul trouble for the Gales as Mackay hits the second. Two of their bigs have four fouls. Ridley and Anderson. As Sledge speeds to the corner and hands it off to Bowman who hits a triple. 64 to 28, Iona leads Wake. Right side, Harris. Over to Jones, top of the key. Skip pass left corner, Mackay. Touches it back out to Miller McIntyre. Now down low to Thomas, missed the layup, second try. Couldn't get that one to go. He's consistently strong on the shot, is Thomas tonight around the rim. And here comes Iona, left half court. 64 to 28 is the score. Sledge rises up, seems like he floats in the air, missed the layup. Second try from Anderson's not there, and he taps it out of bounds for Iona. It'll be Wake Forest basketball. Chase Fisher comes in now for the Deeks to check Miller McIntyre out of the game. The St. Thomas Virgin Islands, St. Thomas football. If you're flipping back and forth, this one is not in the hometown of Tim Duncan, but it's right nearby. St. Thomas is right near St. Croix. Mackay for three, right wing, hits the rim and bounces off. Anderson, two hands aboard, scoops it out to Momo Jones, trots it from right to left, hesitates with the dribble behind the back, rises up, 10 footer, rolls off the 10, board down to Thomas at the foul line. Half court pass to Mackay, all the way to the rim, finishes left side. A bucket for Mackay with three minutes gone by after halftime, 64 to 30. That was that nice outlet pass by Thomas and a great finish by Mackay. Took it hard in stride and right to the rim. Man to man be here for the Dinks. Got the to. Dinks. You, you can't sit back and let the clock go against you. You got to get a little bit more pressure than what right now. They're just sort of staying right with their man, but got to get into them a little bit more here, force some turnovers. Seems like it's torture for the Gales to try to take time off the clock. Armand drills a triple with seven on the shot clock. That's his sixth three of the game. He was five of seven in the first half. CJ Harris answers with his first field goal of the game. A three from the left wing. 67 to 33. Iona leads Wake. Well, Iona was nine of 12 behind the arc in the first half and 
have already made three here this half, and I don't think they've missed back there, so that would be 12 of 15. 12 of 15 from three. Sledge hands it off to Bowman. They led the nation in scoring last year. Iona did, and now uh, Madison Jones fouls Bowman. They lost the nation's leading assist man in Machado, and Glover down low is their other big scorer, but if the matchup is right for Iona, they will still put the ball in the hole at maybe the nation's most proficient rate. Well, Sean Armand, you know he's a catch and shoot, and he's just getting deeper right now, and it's he missed his last two of the half, but uh, hit his first five. Bowman, who's the third leading scorer on the team, will score in the teens typically. 30 points a game for Momo Jones with the ball in his hands here. Drives into the paint, kicks it out for Armand. This three right wing doesn't go down. Offensive rebound for the 5'7 sledge. Kick out for Jones, three left wing, no good. Rebound down to Harris. Eludes the defense, Jones at half court, up down low, Madison Jones rises, kicks it back out to Harris, head of the key. Hands it off to Mackay, penetrates right side, and he's fouled. Take two free throws, Will Travis Mackay, as the Deeks picked up the pace there. Goes against uh, Anderson, he's done. That's the fifth foul on Anderson. I would expect to see Curtis Dennis back in, or Gomez for the Gales, 15-23. Left in. This one is 67 to 33. Three. The Gales have the lead over the Deeks. 15-23 left in this one. Travis McKay is at the free throw stripe. Stop by the ticket office at bb and Field and show your Harris Teeter Vic card to receive great discounts on selected Wake basketball tickets. While supplies last, fans who show their Vic cards will receive $10 off each ticket to selected games in November and December. Harris Teeter, where Deacon fans shop for groceries. McKay hits the first free throw. Lines up the second. And hits. 13 points for Mackay. 67-35 Iona leads. Five minutes after the half. Tavon Sledge bounces into the post for Jackson. Rises up, missed the layup. Bowman offensive rebound. is fouled by Mackay. And it's got uh, four fouls now on Mackay. Failure of blocking out. Makai went to try to rebound, but didn't block out his man, and Bowman went in and garnered it, and he'll shoot the two. Bowman's free throw rattles home, so the Deeks will play uh, either Illinois, Chicago, or Mercer as Bowman hits the second free throw. If they make the comeback here, down 69-35, they'd play Illinois, Chicago, which is where Coach Buzdelic went to college, to his alma mater. If they, things keep going the way they are going, then the Deeks will play Mercer from the Atlantic Sun Conference in Macon, Georgia. Get you the times on those in just a moment. Kavanaugh takes the feed down low, miss a wide open layup under the rim. Just tried to flip it up, his head was behind the backboard. Bowman catches a wild pass at the baseline, kicks it out to Sledge, finds Armand, nice into the paint, kicks out right side, Bowman three. How about it? Trey Bowman with his second triple. 72-35 Gales. These guys can light it up. Thomas 15 feet away, works his way to the rim and scores with the right hand. And use the right hand, that's a good sign. It just seems like right now Wake is trading twos for threes. 
Sledge out for, passes out for a three for Jones. Missed that one from the left wing. Rolls out of bounds to the far side. You get the feeling, Dinger, that Tim Kloos, the head coach for Iona, they're not going to stop. This is, they're not going to put the brakes on or stop shooting. They want to score 120 points if they can. Well, that's his style of coaching, and that's the kind of recruits he tries to get. He knows he's not going to get the big guys, so he gets big, tough matchups. 6'5 guys and uh, guys that can shoot, and that's the name of the game, shooting the ball. 2-3 zone for Iona. Lobbed to the center of it, Kavanaugh is muscling his way in, he's fouled and hits it, a right-handed hook goes off the glass. So Kavanaugh scores the bucket. Sean Armand has his second foul. And Kavanaugh will try to hit the free throw. 72-39. Deeks are down as Kavanaugh misses the freebie. Armand inhales the rebound. Outlet to the far sideline, Momo Jones, who speeds in and scores. It's been repetitious all day. They push the ball down the side and just one-on-one -on -one beats the Deeks. Harris into the paint for the Deeks. This is the 10-footer. Thomas offensive rebound swatted away by Jackson. Gales come back right to left, two on two. Sledge outside pass to Bowman. Shot is missed. Kavanaugh rebound in the paint. Outlet to Harris. It's numbers for the Deeks. Left wing, here's Madison Jones. Knives to the paint and he's bumped, but going up for two. Armand now has his third foul. And with 13-19 to play, Madison Jones heads to the strike. Find great deals and great MPGs only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Go further. Madison Jones to the free throw stripe. Dinger, he's played a pretty decent game. Jones has good defensive pressure, a couple steals from Momo Jones, and now Madison's free throw is good. And he's been effective uh, as a defender, and this is his first career double-figure game as a Deacon. He's got 10 points. Got the start tonight. Coach Buzdelic anticipated essentially a four-guard lineup, which is the conventional starting five for the Gales as Jones misses the second free throw. And then Iona came out with a big down low as Thomas misses the offensive putback, but kicks it out to Fisher, who takes a three. Too strong, Thomas, second try, making a third, rather, and an offensive foul goes against Devin Thomas. That's his second foul of the game. It's 74 to 40, Iona, with 13.08 left in this one. Seven minutes after halftime, here come the Gales right to left. Iona, winners of the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference last year, got to the NCAA tournament. People thought they had a chance to make a decent run last year, had a historic blown lead to BYU. But Tim Kloos has now gone to the postseason two years in a row for the Gales. Started in the CIT his first year. You know, Tim Kloos coached high school basketball from uh, 1991 to 2005 as Momo Jones misses a three near the end of the shot clock. Outlet to Harris, bobbles the basketball, collects himself at the wing, feeds Thomas in the center of the paint, lost it down low. Jones scoops it up, missed a layup that hit every part of the rim, comes down to the Gales. Sledge right to left, hesitates, blows by Chase Fisher. Shot is swatted by Madison Jones with a big time block in transition. His D has been a bright spot for the Deacons in this one. He's a late signee for the Deacons and uh, he has been a bright spot here all three games with his defense and particularly uh, today with a few steals and that block and his uh, 10 points. Pinned that one to the glass in a 74 to 40 game. He's keeping the intensity high for the Deeks. Wakes down 34 here to Iona. Curtis Dennis controls for the Gales. Hands it off to Bowman who walks with it in front of his own bench. Moto of his own bench. Moto checks in for the first time this half. I think Tim Kloos told Bowman to shoot it. 
Yeah, they're, up, they're up by 34, and they had about 30 seconds left on the shot clock. He said, don't walk with it, just shoot the basketball. Well, that's better than making a mistake. Bowman's got three threes this game. Just about everything's gone in for the Gales. Kavanaugh's at the foul line for the Deeks. Faces up, one dribble, passes back out, picked off by Momo Jones. Gales right to left. Jones races to the rim and finishes. 40 points last night for Jones. He's got three threes today. Two twos here in the second half. 19 points in total. As Moto throws the ball away for the Deeks out of bounds at the right baseline. 76 to 40 with 11. Gales back after it here in the second half, up 76 to 40 on the Deeks. As Gomez controls for Iona into the corner for another three for the Gales from the right side. That's off the rim, and the rebound comes down to Iona for a fresh 35. Again, 76 to 40 is the second half score. Iona came out blistering hot in this one, hit their first eight shots in this one, I think, Dinger. It was eight in a row after the tip. And uh, Gales led the nation in scoring last year, and they're showing why here. An air ball three is put up by the Gales. It goes out of bounds. Goes Wake's way. Deeks are moving from left to right. Here's Madison Jones over the timeline. It's been the bright spot for the Deeks tonight, Dinger. The yeah. only spot that's bright. <laughs> CJ Harris is bumped by Gomez on the floor. Stops the clock at 10.45. Get official coverage of Wake Forest Athletics on the Demon Deacon mobile app. Download it now for free in the iPhone App Store and Google Play Market. Chase Fisher lobs it to Kavanaugh in the paint. Dumps it down low to Madison Jones. Throws it away ahead of the key to Gomez. Right to left. Trailing sledge. Rises up. Scooping shot with the right hand. Trickles home. Sledge has eight points. 78 to 40, Iona. Harris lets a three fly, buries it. C.J. Harris, his second field goal this game. He's got eight. 78-43 with a quarter of the game left, if you will. Ten minutes on the clock. Jones for the Gales. Puts up a wild right-hander. That's rebounded by Moto. Scoops the outlet at half court to Fisher. Double team, breaks through it. Kicks it left wing to Moto. Finds Kavanaugh ahead of the key. Triple goes down for... The freshman, Tyler Kavanaugh. 78-46. Kavanaugh showing the ability to step out and catch and shoot for the three. He has a new career high as a Deacon with eight. It's Harris, Jones, Kavanaugh, Fisher, and Moto. The five for the Deeks right now as Sledge throws the ball away near sideline. I agree. I thought the ball was tipped. Yeah, he's calling for a tip, and uh, Dinger sees it Sledge's way. Miller McIntyre checks in for Jones. So it's Fisher, Kavanaugh, Miller McIntyre, Harris, and uh, Moto, the five for Wake. Here's Fisher. Lob high right to Kavanaugh, feeds Moto, misses the dunk, but he's fouled by Dennis. Moto will take a couple free throws. Well, Dinger, the Deeks are staying alive here, playing them pretty even at this point, you know, middle of the second half, but it's really been all Iona tonight. Yeah, it's uh, from the get-go. You know, you mentioned the eight straight buckets, and Wake uh, only had one bucket in like the, the first uh, eight minutes, and that was on a steal by uh, Jones after the missed shot. Moto misses the free throw. Wake doing a little better job against the zone, getting the ball in the middle and facing up and having a cutter like Moto that time who, who missed the dunk. But Moto's second off the heel. Board is tapped around. Falls down to the Gales, the left post. Armand outlets far side to... Jones, Armand's been quiet in the second half. Whips a pass down low. Dennis turn and finish with the right hand. Well, that was just too easy. Moto got lost, and then Dennis just flashed to the basket. Caught it and had a little two-footer turnaround. And uh, that's been the story all day. Wake just been a step short, step slow, as CJ buries a baseline jumper. 80 to 48. Gales have the lead over the Deeks. Averaged uh, 82.9 a game last year. That was best in the country. Iona's on pace for a little more than that. Jackson's free throw rattles in. Sean Jackson, a 6'9 center for Iona, got the start tonight. 
Left wing, Miller McIntyre feeds Moto. Kicks it out right side, Fisher fakes the pass right. One dribble, deep two is up and got it. Haven't seen a lot of Fisher till this evening, Dinger. Back the other way, Sledge tried to slam a miss down and he's fouled. Somebody better block him out. His vertical leap has got to be 40 inches. I mean, he doesn't matter what it is. If, if he can't jump, if you got a body on him and he's just getting free reign going to the basket. And the scouting report had to mention that because he had two last night. So just a lack of concentration, a step slow, a lot of things. And let's give credit to Iona. They've been just shooting the eyes out of it all day. And they could have come out here with their heads down after losing that overtime game late last night at 1 o'clock in the morning. And you would have thought it had been reversal. But uh, Wake looked like the tired, tired team here today. Sledge missed the first free throw. You said it, Dinger. It's been all gales. The second one goes down for the sophomore. And when you got a young team like Wake has, you, you need some leadership when the, the right hand cross landed early and stunned the Deacons, but the, nothing came back. There was no fight that first half. Harris gets caught in the air, driving to the paint, throws the ball away to Sledge. Penetrates into the left paint, misses the layup. Back the other way, Moto head of the key. Kicks it right side, Miller into the corner for Fisher near side. Now dumps the ball to the right post, Moto's doubled. Out to Fisher. Kicks it out of Miller McIntyre, nearly lost the handle. Now picks it up on the dribble. 18 to shoot, Moto has the three, got it, right side. Took four attempts last night, hit one. That's his first field goal tonight. Moto, as athletic as he is, is... Not afraid to shoot the tray. No, he's hit a couple trays. Now, the free throw shooting is a little bit more work that has to be put in. Feed down low to Dennis. Left Again, hand layup's good. A step slow. Everybody on the outside shoulder instead of the inside. And Dennis has one dribble to the, to the basket for a bucket. Seven minutes left. Harris pump fake and a timeout called by Coach Bazdelic before Harris took the shot. 85 Seven minutes, two seconds to play in this one. 85 to 53, Iona leads the Deeks. Today's in-game broadcast also brought to you by Southern Community Bank, small enough to care. Deeks have the basketball right half court. Miller McIntyre triggers it to Fisher, right wing. Roundtree's into the game for the second time today. Feeds Thomas down low, does Roundtree from the head of the key, and it's a foul against the Gales. Thomas will head to the free throw stripe. Special thanks today to Wake Forest Baptist Health Sports Medicine, the team doctors for the Demon Deacons. 6.54 left in this one, 85.53. Media timeout on the Wake Forest IMG Sports Network.
Next to Dinger, I'm Matt Chaz, and Alan stands on the call in South Bend for football. Adam Witten's back in our Legacy Network studios. Thomas's free throw's good. Dinger, today's SWAT reports presented by McNeely Pest Control. Block of the game came from Madison. Next to Dinger, I'm Matt Chaz, and Alan stands on the call in South Bend for football. Adam Witten's back in our Legacy Network studios. Thomas's free throw's good. Dinger, today's SWAT reports presented by McNeely Pest Control. Block of the game came from Madison Jones in transition. He pinned one on the rim, on the backboard, as Thomas's second free throw goes down. McNeely Pest Control, your local pest control solutions expert since 1944. Full court presses on for the Deeks on the Gales. Bowman has it poked away from behind under his basket, collects himself and scores it. Trey Bowman, the, the Gales handle pressure. Well, they, that was a turnover waiting to happen. It just fell right into Bowman's hands for the layup. Moto made a great effort to knock it free, but ball bouncing the right way for the purple and white here today. Roundtree takes a three, who's dared to take it by Iona, hoists up an air ball. The Gales were five feet away from Roundtree. And he shoots it out of bounds. So 6.22 left in this one, 87.55 Iona. Armand lobs it into Dennis. Beat the full court press for the Deeks. Passing to Bowman, center of the floor. Poked away by Thomas. Far sideline, it goes out of bounds off of the Gales. Wake with four freshmen and Fisher, the sophomore, in the lineup. Best thing you can do in a, a beating like this is get your freshmen more minutes of playing time on the collegiate level. Fisher, the sophomore, is the most veteran of the Deeks on the floor right now. Roundtree tries to do it again. It hits the deep two this time. Roundtree from the right wing. Yeah, yeah. And after mission with an air ball, that took a little courage to shoot that shot. He kind of wanted, he shot that like he wanted to prove something. Pass to half court to Dennis. Gales have numbers and Bowman pulls it out. Passes it back to Armand near half court. Dinger, you said that the Iona Quinnipiac game sort of mimicked a New York City street court game. Yeah, it was a blacktop game. When you go 98-92, there's not a, a whole lot of defense, but to give credit for Iona today, they, they responded after a tough loss and they put up 91 already here with five minutes to go. Dennis just scored again on a drive. 5-22 and counting. Deeks are down by 32. Moto at the right elbow, feeds Thomas right post, back out to Moto, kicks it for Fisher, three, left corner, goes down. It's his first three, <coughs> excuse me, first three of the game. Wake's offense a little better here in the second half, but the defense has been uh, wanting 54 in the first half. They've, they've given up 45 here with five minutes to go, and Iona right, tr rightfully trying to run some clock here. They've got this game in, in hand. Armand is a kicked by a round three, wanted a fast break, but... Kicked the basketball. 446 left in this one, 89 to 60. Momo Jones comes back in for Sledge. Jones is right at about 20 points this game. He averages 30 per game. Fisher's guarding him right now. Jones crosses over on him. Kicks it left wing for Bowman. Three is missed, Moto rebound. Outlet half court to Miller McIntyre. Stutter step dribble, pulls up for three, buries it. Well, that's Cody's first bucket tonight. Yeah, foot on the line, so they're only gonna give him two. Called it a two, thank you. It's uh, night after McIntyre, Miller McIntyre scored 21. He's got two as the Gales move it to the left front court. 4.06 and counting. Jones is dribbling into the paint. Passes out for another three point attempt from Dennis, that's missed, back the other way, and Jones blocks a shot from Fisher out of bounds with 3.55 left in this one, 89-60. Gets his own rebound, puts the second one in, so Moto's got 
five points tonight. 89-64, here's Jones. Takes an 18-footer straight away and it is a bullseye right in the heart of the net. Momo Jones could lead the nation in scoring this year. Pass goes out of bounds, it'll be Wake Forest basketball is tipped away by the Gales. 91-64, 327 left in this one. Jones is a speedy little point guard. Moto far sideline for the Deeks. Passes head of the key to Fisher. Was tipped away by Sledge, who's 5'7", but he, his wingspan's not big, but his leaping ability is so strong. It's like he's got long arms. Fisher drives, kicks it back out to Roundtree. Nearly lost the handle. Dumped down to Fisher. Floats it up over the defense at the right post. It's an air ball. Comes down to the Gales. Shot was disrupted by Jackson in the lane. 91-64. The Deeks Dinger are going to look ahead to Mercer tomorrow. The Bears from the Atlantic Sun. Yeah, without their best player, Langston Hall, uh, uh, with a ligament injury in his ankle, and they didn't play very well again today. They, UIC had an easy game with them, so we'll see which team wants to win even more on, uh, on Monday. Three from Armand with five on the shot clock goes in. Seven threes this game for Armand. Miller McIntyre. Scores back the other way. Second field goal for. Carrying over kickstarters uh, for Monday against Mercer. Plenty of He's getting a lot of young kids playing time right now, which I think is very, very important. I was going to say one of those guys, Madison Jones, played well from the tip. Uh, he's used his minutes pretty well. Yeah, Madison Jones has been a bright spot uh, of anything that we've had today. Uh, the big seven-footer Andre Washington's checking in. So uh, you now you look out there. There's five freshmen. The Roundtree has uh, had very few minutes, and same with Washington. And you know, this, that's the future right there. So you got to get him a chance. Gales inbound it from the right baseline. Here's Gomez lobs it across half court to English who's in for the first time. AJ English is a freshman from Wilmington, Delaware for Iona. They miss a three. Roundtree snags the board. Outlet to Miller McIntyre. Speeds to the foul line. Kicks it left wing. Madison Jones drives in. Shot right handers missed from the left side. The board's down to Sledge for the Gales. Two minutes left in this one. 94-66 Iona. Iona tomorrow. Monday. Uh, thank you. Is Monday is going to uh, play against Illinois Chicago the Flames of UIC in this Paradise Jam tournament here in St. Thomas Virgin Islands English lets a three fly that's short board down to Washington for the Deeks Miller McIntyre near sideline accelerates to the rim and he missed a dunk ball just hit the iron rebound comes down to Iona three on one layup by English missed Moto got poked in the eye has a basketball and Leaves it off for Madison Jones, who puts the accelerator down to the foul line. Out to Round Trees, three left corner is no good. This game is rounding out now with about 60 seconds left and 94-66 final dinger. It was really the Gales from the tip. Yeah, when you hit eight shots in a row and jump out 20 to three, Coach Bustelic saw it early, five to nothing. He called timeout. Round Tree with a foul, just to get the. Jennings in the game. Yeah, walk on Jennings. Substitution foul for Roundtree. Jennings is in. You want Jennings to be in on the other side of these when the scoreboards well, his, his family flew here from Tokyo. He may have uh, won an award for the longest trip to the Virgin Island. Could be the longest trip possible to the Virgin Island. The geography trivia question for you. 50 seconds left in this one, 94-66. English for the Gales, passes into the corner. Gomez's three is missed, tapped out by Iona. Now they had a chance. At one time, they were 12 of 15 behind the arc. They missed a few here late, but I'm still, uh, they're, they're going to be over 50% easy. They were trying to get to 100. As Roundtree's shot is missed in the paint. Deke's still down there. Moto's hit, and he'll go up. Got a little frustrated with some of the contact. And Moto will head to the free throw line. 30.4 seconds left. Shot clock is off. 94-66. The Deeks are down here to Iona. Next game again comes up on Monday for the Deeks. Take on Mercer. 
Uh, the Bears lost badly to Illinois Chicago today. Lost a very close game to Paul Hewitt and George Mason uh, yesterday as Moto hits the free throw. It was a low scoring game played in the 40s between Mercer and George Mason. And it ended about 52 49, I think. Yeah, um, George Mason wound up pulling it out. Actually, Mercer was up in that game, but like you said, Banger, Mercer's missing their best player right now. Moto hits the free throws. It's 94 to 68. Iona has the basketball, and the shot clock is off. As Sledge is just dribbling this one out, the Deeks are not going to foul. So, Wake Forest will fall to 1-2 and two on the year. Here with two losses in the Virgin Islands. 94-68, to 68, the final score. Post game is...